Hi, hello and welcome to Fishy Friday, a series on fish recipes. New recipes every Friday. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more videos. Today we will be cooking dry fish mango curry. Let's get into the video. We have seen many dry fish recipes earlier, but today we're going to see a simple dry fish curry prepared in a traditional method. I have taken a flat pot, if in case you don't have one, you can actually use a pan. We will add 100 grams of shallots chopped, 2 green chilies slit, 1 strip of curry leaves, 1 inch of ginger finely chopped, 10 cloves of garlic finely chopped, 200 grams of dry fish and today I am going to use ribbon fish. Now this fish I have soaked in water for 5 minutes and I have washed it 2 to 3 times to remove any excess salt or any dirt that is left from the fish. One small raw mango peeled and diced, quarter teaspoon of fenugreek, quarter teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, salt for taste. We will mix this with clean hands. Now we will add 3 cups of water to it. Light up the stove in high flame and we will place the pot on the stove. Now that it's come to a boil, we will close it with a lid and we will allow it to cook for 5 minutes in high flame. It's been cooking for 5 minutes in high flame. Now we're going to open up the lid. Now the dry fish and the mango seems to be cooked. We will reduce the flame. At this point, we're going to add ground coconut to the curry. Now I have taken half a coconut and I have ground it to a fine paste. So I'm going to add the ground coconut to the curry. After adding the coconut, mix it well. Now we will close the lid and we will allow it to cook for 2-3 to three minutes in low flame. It's been cooking for almost 2 minutes in low flame. At this point of time, we will open up the lid, turn off the stove and keep this aside. Now we're going to season this curry, so for the seasoning I've taken a small pan, preheated the pan and I'm adding 3 teaspoons of oil. Once the oil is warm, add 1 teaspoon of mustard, 1 strip of curry leaves, half an onion chopped, allow the onions to fry. Now the onions are fried, at this point of time we will add 3 red chilies, turn off the stove, pour the seasoning into the curry and mix it well. Your simple and tasty dry fish curry prepared in a traditional method is ready. Hope you love this video. Please like, share and subscribe my videos. Thank you for watching.